Last week, I asked my mom a question. And as I usually do, I began to reflect on that question and I wrote my thoughts down and I shared it with my husband, Renee. And I said, Renee, this is exactly what I want to share. And so I'm just going to share the experience from the top of my head. And he says, oh no, you're not. You're going to read it because you can't miss any key points. And so I'm going to read you my thoughts. I wrote last week, I asked my mom this question. If Andre and I don't go to heaven, would you still want to go? Now, Andre is my brother. My mother thought of this question. And although she knew the answer I was looking for, which was yes, without any hesitation, instead with tears in her eyes, she looked at me and said, some days I do, but most days I don't. Now, as I was trying to hold back tears from my own eyes, I said, Mom, you must love God more than you love us. And so I began to reflect on this conversation over and over again. It played in my head and I began to wonder, what kind of love is this? A love that sacrifices, sacrifices her dreams for the dreams of her children. A love that receives more joy through the success of her children than her own. A love that never gives up and is willing to fight to the ends of the world in order to save her children and even when others have already given up on them. I concluded that this is the love of a mother, a love that can't be explained, only experienced. And I realized that this is a similar love of the love that God has loved us. A love that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. A love that loves with an everlasting love. A love that is mighty to save, that rejoices over us with gladness, that quiets the soul and that exalts over us with loud singing. You see, the Bible is filled of stories, many, many stories of mothers who understood that their greatest strength came when with bended knees, they pleaded with God on behalf of their children. And that day will soon come when these great men and women from the Bible shall receive the crown of glory and they, get this, will acknowledge and honor their faithful mothers, the mothers who have decided to partner with God and have decided to be such an example of love that through their lives, their children caught a glimpse of the love of Christ. And let me tell you something today, mom with these men and women, these great men and women of the Bible, Andre and I will stand. And mothers, with these great men and women of the Bible, your children will stand. Why? Because through your love, you have demonstrated to us the love of Christ. And even when you think your love has failed, or even when you think your love is failing, let me remind you that his love never fails. Rather, his love compels, forgives, and transforms. So on behalf of your children, I want to say thank you. And I want to leave you with a praise, with a song. This was the praise that came out of Mary's mouth after she knew that she was going to be the mother of Jesus. And my prayer is that this praise, this song, this worship will always be heard from your lips. It's found in Luke 1, beginning in verse 47. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in the God, my Savior. For he has regarded my lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God will do mighty things in your life and in the life of your children. Thank you for always making yourselves available. We love you. Have a very happy day. Mother's Day. What love is this that you?